didn't know if you were gonna be able to get the shot off because he was all over me. You sure you're okay? I'm just gonna kill my baby. Everything's okay now. Your little one's okay. Because of you. Over in my head, and we would be dead right now if you hadn't Don't think shot him. That. I can't help it. I will never be able to thank you enough. Never. Jason, how did you? What are you doing here? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm fine. I was no. at the hospital when Dante brought Lulu in. He said you were, you were here with Domestico. Ronnie has been the one who's been beating up Abby's friends the whole time. I'm just so glad you weren't hurt. Yeah, I know. Me too. I'm gonna call this in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I mean, now I will be. And baby's okay too, in case you're wondering. I mean, we didn't know how bad she was hurt. Dante took her to the hospital. Jason, he had us handcuffed. And, and our legs were tied and gagged, and I was able to get Lulu out, and I wasn't able to get myself out. I we couldn't can, get myself can, free. Okay. We can talk about this later. No, Jason, like Ronnie had a gun. It, it was jammed into my side. He was going to kill both of us. Who, you and McBain? No. Jason, me and the baby. I could feel his hand. It was shaking, and his fist was just about to squeeze, and I thought he was going to kill me. I, I didn't know what to do, so I, I faked a fainting spell because Ronnie was basically using me as a shield, and I went down, and I heard a shot, and John killed... He killed him. The police are on their way. You took a shot when my, my wife was in the line of fire? What the hell is wrong with you? Wait a minute, I get, I get that you're no, freaked just, out. Just, an, just to... answer me. It was a calculated risk. And if you missed? I don't miss. If you're such a great shot, why not drop to Mexico before you even got a gun on Sam? Why only take the shot when my wife was in the Jason, way? Jason, stop! He saved my life. Our lives. Ronnie and I were staying at the same hotel. You, you went to a motel? Yeah, Jason, the Hudson Street Motel is convenient and close to the office. I mean, I don't, I don't know. But Ronnie was there, and he had Lulu. How'd you get on to Domestico? I thought you were investigating Sonny. What can I say? I'm good at multitasking. So did you call him? No. I'm at the motel, too. You're staying in the same place? Well, not together, obviously, Jason. I literally came around the corner. McVeigh, he, he was just standing there. Yeah, you're, you're getting pretty good at that. Being there? Sam can't walk five feet without you in her face. Hey, it was a coincidence. Sam, come on, you know better than that. I'm a way to get to Sonny. You're a way to get to me. Uh, you're getting paranoid, man. I had no way to know that Sam be checking into the hotel. I've been staying there for weeks. If I hadn't run into him, then Lulu and I could be dead right now. I mean, we probably would be, and Ronnie would be walking no, away No, nobody free. hurts you and gets away with it. Hey. I'm going to need pictures right away. Everybody needs to seal the area right away. Officer. Officer Padilla, you must be Lieutenant McBain. I am, yeah. I guess we should start from the top. Yeah, well, we're doing that. Miss Morgan needs a ride to the hospital. She and the baby should be checked out. No, really, I think we're going to be fine. Let a doctor decide that. Well, it's better to be safe. to go. Pointed the gun at her side and threatened to kill Miss Morgan and the baby. At that point, I took the shot. Anything to add? No. The commissioner will want you to stop by the station and make a formal statement. But for now, excellent job, Lieutenant. Okay. We have a lot of paperwork to get to. Shouldn't you go be with your wife? Not yet way past time you and I got a few things straight.
that's a shame. I don't like how you've been hanging around Sam. I don't like that you know things about our personal life. I only know what I've been told. Oh, yeah? Without you, she couldn't get the DNA test, right? I was trying to do her a favor. Were you doing her a favor when you read the results with her? She was scared. Understandably so. She asked me to stay. I stayed. You took advantage of her. No. Like I said, I'm the way to get to Sonny. Sam's the way to get to me. You're wrong. Sam has nothing to do with my investigation. You weren't around. And I tried to pick up the slack. You, you got a kid, right? And a girlfriend? Yeah, I do. Why don't you go be there for them? And you stay away from my wife. I have every intention of going home to them. When this is over, when I throw your boss in jail. And if you don't stay out of it, you're going right along with them. Because I can call my lawyer and she can explain innocent until proven guilty. Equal protection under the law. I'm aware of the concept. For all citizens. Even ones paid to kill people. What is your job title exactly? Not a woman beating cop. I guess I got that going for me. Hmm. Misco wasn't one of mine. That's right. Because you don't live here. You have no business here. Hey, I got a federal warrant that says otherwise. Investigating Sonny's a waste of time. We'll see, won't we? How protective you are of Sonny. You never answered me before. What did, what do you ever do to earn such loyalty? You go at him, you come through me first. Now that we've got that settled, why don't you go to the hospital and be with your wife? She needs you. Stay so does the away baby. from my wife. I'll see you around. You can count on that. Now who's threatening who? I can't find Sam anywhere. Is she around? She was supposed to get checked out. Actually, I took her vitals. She's fine. And so is the baby. But you just missed her. Hey. Hey. Those are nice. They're for Jake. I'm going to the cemetery. Years old. Can you imagine? What, what, do you, what do you think he'd be doing right now? I know he'd be writing a birthday present. <laughs> I'd get him this two wheeled scooter that's, you know, the kind that's just way too fast for a boy his age. That sounds like a good present. Yeah, he'd love it. You're welcome to come with me. But only, only if you want. I'd really like that.